That's it. That's it. So now we got to find out what makes us holy. What that whole thing talking about, right? Watch this. The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 12. Come on. Wherefore. Now, hold on. This is the New Testament, too, now. This is the New Testament. Read it again. Wherefore, the law is holy. So the Bible says the law is holy. Read it again. Wherefore, the law is holy and the commandment holy. And the commandments, the same commandments that we taught up in these buildings, ain't nobody keep them. You can't, that's done away with when Christ came. Now you can be, you can murder now. You can rape now. You can rob now. You can, you can steal now. It's fine because Christ died so that you can be a monster. That's what we taught now. And we go for it. We buy that. We believe it. They, you know, it's not even a good show. They just let the laws done away with. Give me, put money in this basket right and get the hell out of here. And if you don't, don't That's come back. Right. If you ain't got no money for this bowl right here, don't come back. That's all. And we go for it. We buy that now, bro. We good. Our people good with that. We happy to be Christian behind that. Come on. Wherefore the law is holy the law is and holy. the commandment holy. And the commandments are holy. And just, and just and good. And good. So ain't nobody good if they ain't keeping the laws, the statutes and the commandments of God. That's the New Testament. That's the New Testament. What we taught out of and our mothers and our fathers and our fathers' fathers and our grandmothers and great grandmothers was taught. Nobody can do that. Give me Matthew 548. Nobody can nobody can do that. Christ came and died because nobody could keep the law. What? I'm keeping the law right now. That's right. Right, right, right That's now. Right. Nobody can do it. That's so right. I have to murder. I don't have a choice. What the hell? That we bugged out, man. Our people messed up. We ain't got no sense, man. Watch this. This is out of the mouth of Christ himself. Jesus Christ. Watch what Jesus say, sir. Come on. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect. Christ said what? Be ye therefore perfect. You Jews, you Israelites, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Christ said what? Be ye therefore perfect. Be ye perfect. Right. You ain't like everybody else. You can keep the law. Come on. Even as your father which is in heaven. You gotta be just like your father. Your father gotta be a murderer, a thief. God gotta be a murderer, a thief, a liar, covetous, sleep with other men's wives. Teach. God got to do that? Christ said what? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Just like God, that's how you got to be. The same way. But we've been taught all our lives to sin. And to think you okay doing it. All our lives, that's what we've been taught. So you look around our community, why, why niggas killing niggas? Why we blowing each other? Why we do worse to each other than anybody else? We don't do nobody like we do ourselves. That's why. That's why. The law done away. It's what we talk. And what we think is the holiest place on earth. What we think is the place where you're supposed to go and get and learn about what God want me to do. No, you're actually learning what the devil wants you to do. Right. That's what you, and they're getting charged for it. They're getting charged for it. Come on. Read it again. Be ye therefore perfect. Even as your father, which, in he which is in heaven, is perfect. So the same way that God operates is how his sons, the blacks, the Hispanics, the Native Americans, is supposed to act. Right. Right. The same way. The same way. Go back to uh, ex uh, Deuteronomy 7. Come on. So it says the law is holy. That's what make us holy. That's what make us holy. When we keep in the laws of God, we are holy. As God commanded we be. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. The Lord chose the Israelites. That's the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Anybody can test that? Come forward. We'll prove it out of the Bible. We'll prove that you black men, you're the gods of this earth. You're the gods of this earth. And you forgot about it. You forgot your heritage. You forgot your culture. Our sisters are goddesses of this earth. And you forgot. You've been taught lies your whole life. Come on. For the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. So everybody, the whole world hates the black man. The whole world spits on the black woman. Right. They hate the way we look. They hate our hair. 
They hate the way we talk. They That's hate our music. Right. They hate us. That's but right. God say we special. God right. chose us. That's God right. chose us because we're his sons. Come on. The Lord that God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Come on. Above all people. That the are, Bible say we're above all people. The Bible said, God say, we're above all people. So why are we asking for equality? Why are we seeking equality? We greater, we above all people on the face of the earth. Read it again, out the Holy Bible. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Ain't nobody equal to the black man. Nobody, nobody. So what happened to us? What happened? We gotta come back to keeping these laws. We just read that the laws is what make you holy. The laws is what make you special. The laws is what will put you above all people on the face of the earth. Let's get some laws. Exodus chapter 20. What's today? Today is the Sabbath of the Lord. What's coming up in a couple weeks or soon is a, is a, a, a deadly, murderous, demonic holiday called Thanksgiving established upon murdering your forefathers and your foremothers. And now you've been taught to celebrate your own destruction, celebrate your own murder. Come on, let's read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse eight, remember the Sabbath day uh -huh. to keep it holy. My brothers, today is the Sabbath day of the Lord. God said, remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. This store should not be open. We should not be buying out of the store. We right. should not be selling. God said, remember the Sabbath day and we got to remember to keep it holy. So remember it and remember what to do about it. What to do according to God in the Sabbath day. Come on. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.